Hello guys, Kubo-san just released his published special chapters for 20 years anniversaries. All the others talk a lot about it, but it seems no one pay attention at Kajuis. Kajuis appears at the beginning and the end of this chapter and shows us something about his abilities. I believe that he will hold a special role in New York. Now, let's have a closer look at him. There is five things that we need to know about him. Number one, specimen of hybridity. All of us know that Kajuis is son of Ichigo and Orihime, and he appears as a human with Shinigami power. But if we take a closer look, he has the percentage of human with special ability. His mother is Orihime with the rejection of events power. It is a special power that trips it into God territory. Some people call it like the power of being God. He had part of Captain Level Sinigami, his grandpa Ishin, part of Poor Blood Quincy's his grandma Masaki, part of Hollow with Ichigo Holofications, and White, a hollow created by I Chance with the soul of Sinigami and Hogyoku power. So it would be no surprise at all if Kazui has special powers. Even it can support Ichigo. Number 2. Relates with the remnants of Yuhabat. In the final chapter or chapter 2 and road 86, Kazui touches the eyeball shaped things we see the remnants of Yuhabat, but it looks like his tiny hand goes to the other dimensions, like some kind of bait. At the same time, the big remnants of Yuhabat in so slightly disappears with all captains and ice confirmations. So there will be two possible explanations. The first one, Kazui can negative the essence of Yuhabash almighty power. Or the second one, Kazui absorb the remaining power of Yuhabash. I'll go with the second way. Number three, Sinigami power. He can turn into a Sinigami, not a soul, come from a body human like Ichigo. And he can turn into a Sinigami easily and freely without a Sinigami badge or the Gokong Taiko blow like Ichigo. He also doesn't have to struggle to come out, such as some other Sinigami inside the big guy. Sword Hill of his Jankakuto had the same shape of Ichigo Bankai's Tensa Jankisu, so maybe he has a big amount of Sinigami power, even without Sikai or Bankai. Number 4 summons the giant goldfishes to ride. In the new release chapters, Kajui can summon two giant goldfishes. Where are the fishes from? Are they the spirits who misbelong to us? And how Kazu can control is still unknown, but it is an interesting and unique ability. Number 5. Open the gate to health. With some glass and bolts, Kazu can open a gate to the other place. This gate looks like a mouth with teeth. The same pattern with the one that Sayelaporo used to come back from hell. It's not an ordinary gate with the door or smooth allies and has a lot of hair butterflies, instead of just one like the gates to the society. When he do that, there were some eyeballs lost around him. Those are exactly the same eyeballs of the skeletons in Officer House gates in the ends of that chapter. Maybe because he absorbed the power left by Juhabach, he can open the gates, which is 99% that connects to the hell. So, after all, I believe that Kazui somehow connects to the health, has special abilities and power. That's why I think that he will hold an important role in new art, home from the job of health. So, what do you think about Kazui? Leave your opinions in the comment section below, and don't forget to like, subscribe for more videos in the future. And Please support the official release when it's available in your regions. Bye!